Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Arc the Lad 2. In the last episode, we finished up all the jobs in Amigu, and now we're gonna head off. Before we do that, we're gonna head off to God Tower, but, but like I said, before we do that, let us make a savey save and a resty rest up at the, the inn here that has nice little counters and all that. Look how much money we have. We have over a half a million gold. Now, uh, in case you didn't get Dyke back yet, now would be a good time to go and get him if you did not get him yet. Alright, say for some reason you forgot to go grab him way back in Yago Siling, way back in the day. Or just you haven't gone back to Yago Siling since then. So, uh, yeah, make sure to go back there and grab him because you need him for this part. So let's head off to God Tower. Which only can be accessed through getting Senor Generale's uh, thing. And yeah, over here, the God Tower. Let us enter the God Tower. I feel like, uh, I feel like, um, what's it called? Uh, you ever see Venture Brothers where they're like, The Nozzle. Please prepare for The Nozzle. You know, that's what I feel like. This tower is... Uh-oh, the Tin Man is malfunctioning. Yeah, you okay, Dyke? Do not be concerned, I am fine. I'm merely affected by the energy field. In the ancient era, the king constructed these towers all over the world as sentinels over the nation states, artificial guardians of a sort. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess he does. Does he not, Tin Man? Wake up! Oh man, leave Dyke Beck alone! Hmm. What's the problem here, Dyke? Do you remember anything? What happened? He seems to be functioning normally again. Yeah, let's go inside. So we know these were built by machine gods of the Wayback Day. Or gods, or kings, or whatever, of the Wayback Day. Uh-oh. Look, these guys are here. The banditos will attract the attentions of any beast in there. We will sprint ahead and capture the treasures for ourselves. Yeah, and there are no treasures in this area, so don't worry about it if you're going the wrong way or whatnot. There is one guy in the top. And he is a real dickwad. Well, actually, not that bad, but... So here we're going to pick Dykebeck, because he belongs in the crew. Let's pick, uh, let's pick... To no, we'll see... Yeah, we'll see Tosh later. Uh... How about... Po Ar hmm. Arc Poco, Shantae, Dyke Beck. Oh yeah, I got, uh, let's see. And one other character. How about Gogan? Sure. That's a fairly wa wound out party right there. Anyways, here we are and we can pick any pad that we want. Either way is going to lead to one section or the other, so it doesn't really matter. I'm left-handed, so I'm taking the left pad. I know that doesn't really matter about anything, but let's just say it does. Anyway, so here we are, and what is this... What is this triangle here? Oh, it has warped us over here to a room full of robots. And these guys are SA-100s and SA-200s. And luckily, these guys are all about the claws. They're all about claws. Do, do, do. Oh, I should have brought Sonya. She needs some more experience. Sonya! Are we gonna... There we go. Are we gonna get to go anytime soon? Let's do this. We take from three and give to five. Try to figure out that math equation, maybe. Alright, Arkui. 
Bye bye! Yeah, I'm stealing Choco's lines. What are you gonna do? They're wonderful. Anyways, let's use uh let's use a lion drum. And let's use since these guys are electrical, let's use thunder. Yeah, most of the god tower is small, confined spaces, so it is best to use uh, magic. Oh. Luckily, yeah, like I said, these guys are not. They're not, um. They're not gun guys, so that's good. But yeah, what could be on the top of god tower? Only God knows, maybe. Punch! Let's just attack him regular. Bye bye! So there we go. And now, what are these things? I don't know, but let's head on these triangles over here to where we now go up through this section. Yeah, this place is a little small. All right, so we can go to E or F. Uh, E brings us to more monsters, and F brings us to where we need to go. What the hell, we'll fight more monsters. Why not, right? Yeah, Robos, let's, let's bring it. You missed. Yeah, everyone attack like that. I just love how he gets an axe out of nowhere. Isn't that awesome? Ugh, how can you dodge a throwing axe like that? Anyways, if you do walk on the triangles, you will, uh... Let's cure up. Oh no, Dykebeck doesn't get cured. Oh well. Anyways, if you walk on the triangles, it's like walking on stairs, and you can get out of here if you want. But these robos are so easy. It's alright. Ooh, nice block there. Thunderstorm. Robots don't like electricity. They're afraid of the powers of electrical stuff. Ugh. Come on, man, you miss like no one's business. What the hell, dude? You suck. Perfect opportunity for a little bit of divide. If only her magic power was a little higher, we would get a good amount of HP from these guys. Let's use a trophy horn. No one's dead? Only two, huh? And Polka goes up a level. Yippee! Hold on. Alrighty. Sorry about that. Well, really, it was only momentarily for you people. But yeah, let's take these guys out. Boom! Dead. All right, so uh, okay, so we just beat those guys. We're doing fairly well. Gogan's leveled up. His magic goes up, of course. I hope so. That's all he's good for. Not that he's bad. I'm just saying, you know, magic for him is very good. He needs he needs to get earthquake up to level three though. Same thing with her. How are we doing with everyone's spells here? 
Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, these guys almost have their levels up to level twos, and yeah, she's gonna take a while. Oh, she learned a poco poco. Yeah, but this is kind of cool. You can come over and look at all this stuff. So yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue. Anyways, through here, and we took the left, so let's go right. Over here. To over here. Whoops. And that'll take us over here, where we'll automatically have to fight some enemies. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just an empty floor. There's nothing there, so don't worry. Anyways, you hear that music? Yeah, step on that switch. Oh shit, what did that do? Oh god! Damn you bastards! You son of a bitches! Yeah, now we know there's trap doors in this spot, so we have to progress carefully. Or maybe it was just the, the, those two hitting that switch there. So if we go to I, now we gotta fight a bunch of monsters. I and K. Or maybe not. Hmm. J. J sends us over to where those two were just at, so let's head to this one. Surely this must be the one that leads to the treasure. Pull it, brother! Yeah, it looks like these guys are gonna set us up with traps here. What the hell? We just got warped somewhere. What the friggity diggity? Where the hell is this now? Hmm. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, we're oh we're back down here. Jeez, man, these guys, what a bunch of jackoffs. They're warping us back to where we were. Yeah, these guys are really wrecking my day here. Uh, give me a minute. Alrighty, I'm back, and let us continue through the God Tower. Yeah, I had to take a, a break for a few, but we're back to, to continue with Antonio and Gomez and Ark's adventure. So let us go. Alright, so we're here again. We're going up. As Antonio and Gomez are, uh, they're basically, uh, screwing with Ark and his friends to not let him get through here. And now here we are on map six, and oh no! Robots! Dear lordy. So now it's time to take on robots. Anyways, there will be a guy on the top that we will have to deal with. Who will not like us very much. You know what I'm saying? And he's a buddy of Dykebeck's. As we will find out. Does everyone go before us? That is not fair. That is not fair at all! Ooh. Yeah, take that. Hiya! I don't know why I attacked with him. Oh, I don't have any, any of that breath stuff. That's probably why. If only her magic power was up more. Ah. You're dead! Face the wrath of Ark the Lad. Oh, yeah. See, what's the deal? A guy can smash another guy with symbols, but for some reason, Dykebeck can't hit a guy with, uh... uh some guy, a guy, Dykebeck can't hit a guy with a gun. Or whatever he would call a gun, I don't know what. Yeah, see how he can't hit? He can't hit for anything. Mm. 
going down. I'm afraid. Wow, you slowed down an old man. Wow, how nice. Anyways, let's use explosion. There you go, Dykebeck. Let's use a cure. Saikso is right. Again, punch in the face. Why not use a trophy horn? Yes. Guaranteed for robots not to like. <laughs> and Poco goes up a level. Yay! His uh his stuff went up pretty good there. Gogan's signature move. I am dead. And now you're gonna attack Ark, which would be a bad idea. Or maybe a good one, I don't know. Let's do explosion. Oh yeah. That's how Dykebeck uses the power of fire. Anyways, we want to head over to this spot now. Now that we've stopped Gomez. Yeah, what are these monsters made of? The... they... The opponents we have encountered are the machine soldiers. Machine soldiers? They were created in the ancient era to kill the seven braves. Ah, I was created to protect the seven braves from these machines and the... Grolgald. But Grolgald? Wasn't he destroyed long ago? Mechanical beings do not die, but cease to function. If there's no wet if there if there is no worry, then why do you keep malfunctioning in here? No, don't touch him! Stop doing that, Tosh. Can you stop messing with him? The poor guy is already all messed up as is. Alright, so we're over here. We go over here. This will lead to... Oh, man. Alright, yeah. What? what was that? Oh, yeah, we can restart. So, what we want to do here is, as we walk on each floor, they will, uh, they will change. So, what I want to do is start on this one. And now, we're going to go right, and right... And right, and down, and down, and left, and up, and right, and down, and down, and left, and down, and down, and left, and then up, and then right, then down, then down, and down, and look at that, we did it. But yeah, that's a kind of interesting uh, little puzzle they have there. Luckily, we were able to go through it ASAP and not have to worry too much about it. And now here we are in front of a bunch of warpy warps where we will have to go and warp to one of six. I think actually N-O-P-Q-R-S. N-O-P-Q-R-S. Yeah, any of these, you'll have to get warped over here. So, oh! Maybe not. Maybe I chose the right one. The switch is stuck. What the hell? Uh-oh, here's the monsters. So yeah, we gotta take them on. It's alright, though. I wanna take on the robos. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show the battle. I was just thinking about it, but... So these robots were created in order to destroy the seven braves. Well, if you think about it, Gogan is one of the original seven braves. Isn't that kind of interesting? I think it is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not that interesting. But let's do this. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting uh, thingy I was just thinking about. And Ark, and Poco, and Tosh, and Iga, and Kukuru, they're all descendants of the Seven Braids as well. Uh, let's take on you. Oh. And Gogan obviously is uh, the original. One of the original seven braids. He's over a millennia old. Actually, it'll be kind of interesting to get to the top to see if he has anything special to say. Obviously, Dykebeck. He was made in order to defend the seven braids. And actually. Alright, nice. Yeah, don't mess with Ark. Really. No, I'm serious. What'd I just say? Uh, yeah, just hang out. I'm dead. So, let's head back over to where all those switches are at. And we warp back here. And, uh, what one was it? The second one here? Yeah, let's go in this and then go up there because the switch is stuck. I believe... This is that switch that um, Antonio and Gomez dealt with. And here we are on the ninth floor, and I think everything's fairly straightforward from here. This does not look good. Wait, brother, I have an idea. Now would be a good time to share it. We should take one step back. And then turn and run like scared chicas. Ah! Oh, they just hit a switch. Gomez, look! Look, they can't get you. Yeah, you can't get us now. Aw, oh, shit. Now we gotta fight some monsters. Why did we split up like that? But yeah, I'll show this. These battles aren't too difficult, so let's see. Kakualu. Eat it. Um, yeah, let's use another explosion. There you go. Dykebeck using the power of fire. Let's have Shante use the power of divide. There we go, Shante. Let's have you attack this guy. Let's have you go this way and use Lion Drum. Now, I want to say Lion Drum was a little more powerful in the last game. I could be wrong. Boom! Two Robos dead. Oh, I gotta stop the episode soon. Holy moly, I didn't see the time. Not nice, Mr. Robot. You don't hit a lovely singing lady who goes up a level, or maybe not. There you go, you finally hit something. Look at Shantae, huh? Her attack power is just as good as Dykebeck right now. 
And look at Ark, he beat him. So what awaits us on the top of God Tower? Will we find those two bumbling idiots? Who knows? We'll have to find out in the next episode. This has been Kenji1913. I'll see you later.